Louisville's first lady is talking about her new role for the first time. Rachel Greenberg sat down with Lauren Adams to talk about her priorities, plus her husband's role as mayor, and the moment they considered dropping out of the race. The Greenbergs have been married more than 20 years after being set up on a blind date. Rachel Greenberg says they're a team. It's why from the very start of this race, they were in it together. So tonight, let's celebrate these victories. Tomorrow, it's back to work. So I think in that moment, it was, it's, it's exciting. But then you get home and you're like, oh my goodness. Rachel Greenberg is admittedly still getting used to her new role as Louisville's first lady. While she's frequently seen at news conferences with her husband, she's setting her own priorities, starting by visiting schools. The former teacher says that's where the future of the city is and who she'll dedicate herself to helping. I think it's important that I'm there. I, I do. I mean, it is, this is a new day. And part of this new day and this new administration is we're here. With one son in college, the other a high school senior, she says the timing was just right for her husband to enter politics. Some of her happiest times, in fact, she tells us, have been campaigning alongside him. But on February 14th, 2022, at his campaign headquarters, everything changed. We are following late breaking news right now. Louisville mayoral candidate Craig Greenberg and his staff are safe right now after shots were fired at his office. What was the first thing you did when you saw your husband when he walked through the door that night? We had a family hug. She says her husband let her and their boys decide whether or not he would stay in the race. The answer was yes. And it's given her a new perspective on the need to address the city's crime rates. We need to work together to heal and also to prevent it. Because it, it's not just healing from it, it's stopping it from happening to others. And Mayor Greenberg has said he was very proud of the role his wife took during the campaign. On election night, in fact, he joked he was giving a victory speech because voters liked her so much. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.